All right, welcome to our third comparison between uh, Logos and Accordance. And a lot has happened since uh, since the last comparison that we did. For instance, uh, since that time, just recently, last week, Logos 4 was released. And so uh, you'll see that I still have the original Libronix version 1, but I've also got Logos 4 both uh, in Mac and Windows here. And of course, version 8.4 of Accordance that was released a couple of days ago. And what we're going to focus on in this comparison is the bibliographic citations because that's what's new in Accordance, uh, something that uh, Logos has had for a while. And so we're going to compare uh, how these two programs come about the this, this same task. And one thing that, that I'll tell you up front is neither of these programs do this perfectly. Uh, you still have to go back in and tweak uh, the references a little bit, but it's interesting to put them side by side and see how they interpret the same sources. So I've tried to use either the same source or comparable sources for these comparisons. And uh, just as a, as an upfront, I've uh, I'm running on a 2008 uh, unibody MacBook Pro 2.8 gigahertz 4 gigabytes of RAM. I've reduced the screen size from 1400 by 900 in order in, down to 1024 by 768 so as to get a clearer picture on YouTube. Uh, and so uh, what I'm going to do here is, uh, first of all, let me show you what I'm going to use and not I'm not going to use. Uh, this is uh, this is the, the pre-release Alpha 3 that was released today from uh, Logos. And um, I, I can go to a passage, I can highlight a passage. The problem is I haven't been able uh, in the last uh, few minutes to copy from it. Uh, earlier today I actually could uh, copy the text and so it's an alpha so, but anyway we're gonna we're gonna disqualify this for the moment it wouldn't be fair to uh, use this in the comparison so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of uh, this is uh, Logos for alpha for uh, the Mac and uh, then this is the original uh, Libronix version 1 and I, let's see I think it's 1.2.2 and uh, the citation does work in here, and in fact it works quite well, uh, but let me show you why I'm not going to use this for our comparison. I'm not going to use this for the comparison because uh, when I paste it and it puts the footnote in, it doesn't italicize the title, which, uh, which it should do, uh, this, this title that's right here, and maybe I can zoom in a little bit, this title that's right here ought to be in italics, and it's not. And so. Um, uh, basically, Libronix version 1 is something that I don't think we'll ever see completed because I think that the, that boat has sailed and, and all the attention is being put on Logos 4. So uh, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to come back out of here and I'm going to delete uh, this reference that we just did and uh, we'll switch to another document there. So what we are going to do is we're going to use, um, close that out, we're going to uh, use uh, Logos for for Windows, and I've got this running in Parallels. I've got it running in uh, Parallels 5 in what's called Crystal mode, so it kind of sits here uh, just like a like a, another program against the uh, the Mac. You don't see the Windows desktop, and so we'll see that this work, does work pretty well. And so what I'm going to do for this first comparison is a commentary, and I've got a Job commentary out of the New American Commentary in uh, Logos, and I didn't have the same. Uh, commentary in accordance, although it is available, but well, I'm going to use the word biblical commentary here, but uh, these are comparable types of references. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to right click or contextual click upon uh, this passage that I've got highlighted. I've already got this set up. I'm going to choose copy and now I'm going to go to, uh, to Microsoft Word and I'm going to paste this in. Uh, notice the text is here. It, it puts in a puts in a foot, footnote as you can see and then uh, here's here's the text uh, down here at the bottom and so uh, so the we see uh, uh, the author's name a volume number the title of the book says electronic edition logos library system the new american commentary we've got our publication information and then our page numbers and i double checked uh, this uh, this particular sentence that i copied and again the the content is what it's what's important but uh, this does actually span these pages. I looked that up in the uh, actual book, so that's good. So now I'm going to um, I'm going to hit return, and I'm going to switch over to Accordance, and I've got a passage highlighted, and I'm going to right click in um, this, and I'm going to choose Copy as Citation, and so now I'm going to go back to Word. And by the way, this will work in Melel. 
as well. I'm using Word because I think probably more people use Word. But I'm going to paste the text here and uh, go down here and uh, you know both of these both of these footnotes. If you're if you're using uh, a particular style, and I'm using Turabian by the way on both of these. Um, there's a there's a number of different styles you can choose from in Logos in the new version of Accordance. Uh, right now the selections are limited to Turabian and SBL, uh, but you'd have to go in here and you'd have to format these a little bit anyway. Uh, Turabian, for instance, has a, uh, you have to uh, uh, indent that first line and, and really the best way to do that is to have a footnote style uh, ready in order to change this. But a couple of interesting things here. Uh, notice that the um, uh, volume 11 is in front of Job, which isn't really correct here. Both of the, uh, both of the uh, programs uh, include here information about the fact that this is coming from an electronic system uh, and uh, we see it uh, down here uh, with uh, Accordance is putting that information in there as well. So both of them are doing that and I'm going to switch to a different document that I've already prepared where I put in uh, what I believe is the correct, uh, this would be the correct, and again the, the indenting, uh, I'm not counting that against either program, you'd have to do that yourself, but uh, like I said, this volume 11 in front of the title Job is, is strictly incorrect in Trabian style. You would want that to come after, uh, after the title, New American Commentary, uh, and then again the page numbers uh, are right there. So that would be the proper way to do that. Uh, and then this example from the Word Biblical Commentary, uh, Job 1 through 20, uh, volume 7. Uh, Word Biblical Commentary, and again, this is the this is electronic edition information. If you were doing it just from the straight book, you would do it uh, like I've got right here, and uh, and a lot of times that's what you want to do anyway. There are some people you'd submit a if you're, for instance, a student and you're submitting a paper somewhere. There's some kind of old school professors that just are distrustful of these crazy electronic. Uh, text and so uh, so you could format it like that but you see a, a comparison of how these are doing this uh, the uh, the accordance uh, citation was a little bit more accurate than the uh, the logos citation uh, although again you're gonna have to you might have to work with both of them so uh, that